Thank you very much. I'm tickled to be here. I'm from Arkansas as well, uh, from a little town called Fox, Arkansas. Uh, six people in my graduating class, that's the truth. I always get some smart aleck, are you the valedictorian? <laughs> uh-uh. It's in the top six. Strong top six. A lot of negative stereotypes about people from Arkansas. It makes me mad because I come from a normal family, had normal parents. I remember they got married, I was four years old. It was my mom and my stepdad got married when I was four years old. My, my stepdad raised me up like I was his. He's a good man and a good dad. And I knew he's gonna be a good dad because he's a great uncle. <laughs> Not my uncle, you sickos. <laughs> my mom's uncle. <laughs> Technically, he my great uncle daddy is what he is. He's a good man. I was raised in the country. I love to hunt, and uh, we eat what we, what we hunt, and uh, a lot of people find that to be uh, cruelty to animals, but uh, I'm against pet monkeys. <laughs> I am, I believe that's cruel to animals. But you know, I ain't gonna pass judgment, you know, as long as they eat the whole monkey. <laughs> no offense, monkeys. People always say no offense after they've offended somebody. I never, I never got that because, you know, it's, it's meaningless. You know, you either offend or you don't offend. You can't unoffend. <laughs> Ain't that right? So no offense, monkeys. <laughs> Recently, uh, a US, uh, member of the U.S. Uh, fencing team took a knee during the anthem uh, on the podium, and uh, that kind of left me perplexed because if the American dream is working for anyone, it's the one making a living sword fighting. <laughs> you know, what are you protesting? The system's working for you, Zorro. <laughs> no offense, musketeers. <laughs> My dad recently sent me a text now, he just started texting not too long ago. The second text I ever got from him was, hey, let's take a bath. <laughs> let's play big chief, me, big bad chief. Immediately, this is true, immediately the phone rang, it's him. He's like, that wasn't meant for you. I figured that, you want me to text it to mom? <laughs> and he said this, he goes, man, once you send it, you can't get it back, can you? <laughs> no, it ain't the Pony Express, Pop. <laughs> I recently called tech support for my laptop and a woman in a really thick European accent uh, goes, what's your name? And I said, it's Paul, in my accident. And she goes, hello, Paul. I said, no, it's Paul. She said, I'm sorry, are you saying B as in ball? I said, no, I'm saying P as in pneumonia. I normally don't do, you know, controversial material. I, I don't do politics, uh, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't, I, I don't like, you know, making light of controversial issues because, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, pigeonhole myself into a corner with people, you know. Uh, like the transgender bathroom thing, I, I don't have an opinion about that. It was like I was telling the ladies in the restroom a while ago. <laughs> I said, I just worry about you. There's a lot of perverts out there. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Paul Harris. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Great to have you here.
You are a funny guy, Paul. Well, thank you very much. So how did you get into show business? Because, I mean, it's, it's kind of a long trip from Fox, Arkansas <laughs> to the stage of the Grand Ole Opry and Branson and all over the country doing festivals. Well, uh, there was a show in, in Mountain View, a kind of a mom and pop theater called the White River Hoedown. Yep, been there. Um, and uh, when I was in high school, they had a talent contest. I entered up and I won the, the contest and the owner of the Hoedown uh, asked me to start working there every Saturday night. And then uh, my dream after that was to go to Branton because, you know, uh, Branton was in our backyard. Oh, yeah. A lot of theaters there. And um, so I went and auditioned for a show there and got the job, and, and I've been doing it ever since. You are a great entertainer, Thank and you. it has been a thrill having you here. I certainly want you to promise that you will come back. I would love to, yes, absolutely. we got to have you back. Now, I need to tell people how they can listen to more Paul Harris comedy. You can get it online on Spotify, Apple Music, and more. But also, if you want information on his hilarious band, go to thecleverlies.com or follow him on Facebook at The Cleverlies and on Twitter at the and then underscore Cleverlies.